Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be unboxing some absolutely gorgeous miniatures that was kindly sent to me by Atlantis Miniatures. If you check the description box down below, I'll put a direct link to their web store and you can go and check out all the minis that they sell. Okay, so first of all, uh, the packaging that these miniatures come in is absolutely exquisite. Um, there's even magnets in a hinge on this uh, flap here. So, like I say, A1 packaging, guys. Absolutely stunning. Uh, now, as we go through the box, I'll show you the minis that were sent to me. Okay, so first of all, we've got a Goblin War Chief. And as you can see, if I just zoom in, I will be building these up uh, later on in the video and showing you what they look like. But I'm just showing you how they come. So... That's the Goblin War Chief. Then we've got an Orc Bearer. Then we've got, which is my favourite miniature of uh, all the miniatures that were sent to me, which is the Stone Troll um, 2. Uh, meaning that they've got uh, several different Stone Trolls, but this is the uh, 2 variant. And he looks absolutely wonderful, guys. Uh, and these are all resin. And the cool thing with this miniature is I don't have to build it. It's already fully built. And it looks absolutely awesome. Um, the next miniature we have is this tiny little goblin here. Who is called Goblin Two Shivs. Uh, because he's got two knives. If I can just move him up there. We can see him. Absolutely stunning detail on these minis, guys. They look absolutely wonderful. And last but certainly not least, guys, we have this absolutely huge giant. And it looks like something from World of Warcraft. Absolutely epic, guys. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to build all the miniatures off camera and we'll come back and we'll have a look at them all built. Okay, so we're back, guys, and I have built all the Atlantis miniatures that were sent to me. And first of all, we're starting up having a look at the Stone Troll. And as you can see, he looks absolutely fantastic. If I just zoom in a little, you can see that this texture all over the flesh of this stone troll and the detailing is as i say absolutely exceptional um, i've removed most of the mold lines that were very very faint and super simple to do just with a hobby knife but if you've got gw's uh, mold line remover tool, uh, tool not tune uh, it'll be just as simple to do that as well um, but I just love like the uh, stony rocks coming out of the stone trolls um, muscles on his shoulders there and the top of his arms I think it looks absolutely wonderful okay so moving along to the next miniature that was sent to me this is the uh, orc um, uh, uh, banner bearer and again look at the beautiful texture on the uh, banner there it's like a leathery texture i think it looks absolutely epic guys if i just because he's leaning forward show you his face it looks fantastic okay and now i'm going to put up some of the goblins this is a goblin war chief so if we can get the camera a little lower and again looking at the scale of this thing compared to my thumb the detailing is just exceptional guys and the uh, uh, expression on the war chief's face looks absolutely fantastic absolutely love these miniatures guys they're, they're absolutely wonderful okay so now i'm going to put up um the smallest miniature of the minis that were sent to me 
and this is the goblin uh, two shivs because he's got two knives and he looks really really cool okay last guys but certainly not least I'm going to show you the giant and um, when we say giant we really do mean giant I'm going to put two shivs next to the giant <laughs> I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit here guys as you can see the giant lives up to his name and he looks absolutely epic now I don't know whether you've actually seen the World of Warcraft film guys but it reminds me of the orcs from that. It uh, just looks absolutely brilliant. The sculpting in, uh, in the face there just looks absolutely wonderful. And I love the giant staff he's holding with those big giant um, tusks uh, from maybe an elephant maybe. Just, just epic guys. So um, please uh, let me know what you think of the Atlantis miniatures in the comments field down below. Have you bought any Atlantis miniatures in the past? Are you thinking of picking some up? Please let me know. Also don't forget to check the description box down below for Atlantis miniatures web store where you can check out more of the uh, unbelievably uh, well sculpted miniatures that they sell on their web page. And thank you very much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.